15 News. Our top story this hour, anti-lockdown protesters have again clashed with police in Melbourne today, this time at St Kilda Beach. Reporter Anne Barker is there and joins me live now. And tell us what's been happening. Stacey, I'm here at the southern end of St Kilda Beach where we had uh, quite a clash between protesters and police about uh, one o'clock this afternoon. There were about uh, probably no more than 50 protesters who came down from Luna Park just nearby, walked down the waterfront and they were far outnumbered by the police. There were hundreds of police here and they'd been sort of monitoring the, the group as they got bigger in the, during uh, sort of since midday. Now it's not uh, nowhere near the size of some of the protests we've seen in recent and days, but certainly there were clashes, a lot of uh, police arresting individuals who were not wearing masks or who were clearly out for the wrong reason. And some of those people have been fined, many of them have been taken away. And uh, it started at Luna Park, as I said. It's not the most organised protest we've seen in recent days. Uh, on social media groups, uh, it took a long time for them to work out even where to meet. A lot of people uh, were not able to get here, or when they got here, there was no one here. So it was a very small protest at first, slowly grew in number and uh, it's all dissipated now. Those people have been dispersed or taken away or fined. And Anne, you touched on it a bit earlier, but how has today's protest compared with some of the clashes we saw earlier this week? Well, we saw some very big numbers, of course, last weekend at Richmond during the week uh, on the Westgate Bridge and uh, Westgate, Westgate Freeway and, of course, at the Shrine on Wednesday where there were hundreds of protesters, much bigger clashes and perhaps a smaller number of police. That's the key, I think, uh, since, since then. The police are out in the thousands today. I think there are about 2,000 police who've been around Melbourne arresting people yesterday and the day before so that a lot of people have either given up on joining the protest or as soon as they would arrive at a place where it looked as if it was going to happen they would be arrested and taken away straight away. Uh, so today I think it's a much smaller crowd, a much larger group of police and that has certainly changed the dynamic in the police's favour. And it is of course AFL Grand Final Day. Are footy fans heeding the advice to stay home? Well, look, uh, the MCG, of course, which is usually the, the hive of activity on grand final day in any other year, was completely empty this morning. Uh, not many people around at all. There are certainly people out wearing their colours if they're supporting uh, the Demons and uh, the Bulldogs. Uh, certainly there are a lot of people out on the streets, whether it's more than any other Saturday, I'm not sure. But, uh, of course, with, with a night match, most people you'd expect will be home watching it. The curfew takes effect halfway through the game which will make it impossible for people to really go out and celebrate afterwards, in Melbourne at least. OK, thanks Anne. And Barker reporting there at St Kilda Beach. And Victoria has reached a new daily record.